Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, January 26, President Biden imposed an immediate and indefinite ban on the issuance of LNG export permits to non-FTA countries while DOE conducts a review to consider the climate impacts of natural gas. Well, the DOE has already commissioned five studies to examine the effects of U.S. LNG exports, and the results unanimously demonstrate the benefits to the U.S. economy and to domestic prices. In fact, the two prior presidential administrations conducted these studies without blocking export permits. President Biden's ban on LNG is radically short-sighted when it comes to the environmental risk. Clean natural gas is a major reason why the U.S. has reduced emissions more than any other nation. According to DOE, U.S. LNG exports are also 41 percent cleaner than Russian natural gas delivered to Europe. Current law requires that natural gas exports to countries with non-FTA countries are deemed in the public interest unless DOE finds exports will not be consistent with the public interest. There is a very clear statutory presumption already that exports are in the public interest, and each administration has held opposition to a very high bar. I think what the administration is saying right now is the political interest. That is, and that statutory uh, uh, presumption has been held to a very high bar up until now. This is the same president who promised Europe that we would meet their needs in the wake of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Who stepped up to the plate? It was American energy producers who sent more than 87 percent of LNG exports to the EU, UK, and Asia in December, all markets which will now be forced to turn to nefarious actors for their needs. I'm proud of this bipartisan bill. And one of the reasons is because of the steps that the industry has taken to help the climate, to help emissions, to reduce emissions. Let's consider that two-thirds of the world's recoverable natural gas is in four countries, Iran, Qatar, Russia, and the United States. I asked my colleagues, who do you recommend that they turn to? If not the U.S., then who? Not only is President Biden cutting off our allies at the knees, but this move will also raise global and domestic prices. Domestic natural gas prices are lower and more stable with free, fair, and open markets, and U.S. LNG is the price ballast in a global market. The decision to ban exports creates uncertainty and discourages investments that would otherwise create jobs and expand the supply of natural gas. Out of all of President Biden's poor energy policies, the ban on LNG exports is the most egregious, short-sighted, and impactful on the credit of U.S. commitments around the world. I'm proud to lead H.R. 7176 to immediately reverse the ban and to take politics out of LNG exports by giving FERC sole authority for LNG exports and repealing all restrictions. Mr. President, the world needs U.S. LNG. This catastrophic, politically based, and legally dubious ban must be reversed immediately. I urge all of my colleagues, and I appreciate the bipartisan support that we are already receiving, but I urge all of my colleagues to vote yes on H.R. 7176, and I yield back.